Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about customer success stories. So we saved a client over $40,000 in one year in registration fees. So every single year they were paying more than $40,000 in registration fees for their vehicles that they didn't have to be paying. So we went in, we caught it and we said, Hey, did you know they save $40,000 every single year just for us noticing something that they hadn't caught in years. We saved a company over $30,000 in actual fines. That's what they were going to get fined. We showed them how to do it just by submitting a request to get those reduced. We took a company with horrible CSA scores, took them from horrible to rock star company, the envy of their competitors because they were getting all the clients. So who is this for? So if you're just getting started with the DOT and safety management, if you've been in the industry, but you really want to gain some more knowledge, or if you're currently a professional, you have a lot of knowledge, but you're just looking to expand that a little bit. This webinar is for you. So who am I? I'm Tina Bryan and I am the president and CEO of DOT readiness group. I have been doing this for 20 plus years. Back in the 90s, I was audited by the DOT. Technically, yes, they are called compliance reviews, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to call them audit. So back then, I knew absolutely nothing about DOT. I knew nothing about the FMCSA. I just knew that I was in trouble. So I was supposed to be following all the regulations. I knew I had a DOT number. I knew it was supposed to be on the side of my trucks, but I really didn't know anything else about that. I had no idea of all the regulations that are actually in place. Took a horrible experience, a major incident and accident to finally get me to realize why this is so important. So what I want to help you do is not go, the, go through the same issues that I did because I gotta tell you, it was not pleasant. So not only did that audit go horribly wrong, which it did, huge fines were involved, the driver went to jail, unsatisfactory rating, and to be perfectly honest, we deserved it. I deserved it. The driver deserved it. Um, you know, we killed somebody. And although this is 20 something years ago, over 25 years ago now, that this happened, it still affects me today. It still affects me to the point where this is what I have done with my whole career, my whole life now. From that point forward, I have taken everything that I have and everything that I've learned over the past 25 plus years. And I want to share that with you. I want to share it with you so you understand why it's so important because I don't want you to have to go through that. So through all of that, it forced me to realize what was actually important. It wasn't about making money. It was about people. It was about making sure that my drivers were safe, that my other employees were safe. It was about making sure the general public was safe. So I took it seriously and it took me a while and it took me some time to figure out what it all meant, but it does matter to me. And I'm so passionate about making sure that, that my clients and you are hiring the best drivers you can, the best drivers out there, making sure that your vehicles are the safest they can possibly be, making sure that you have a really, really solid safety program so that if something ever does happen, if an accident ever were to occur, you can, totally just go in and say, you know what? I knew that I was trying to do everything I could possibly do to do it right. Do accidents happen? Absolutely they do. But I want you to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and know that you did every single thing you could possibly do to do it right. So that's what I want to help you with. So here's a question I have for you. Ask yourself this, could you get through a compliance review right now? If the DOT were to walk in tomorrow, and say, we wanna see your files, we're doing a full compliance review, up with it. Are you confident that you could get through that audit and get a satisfactory rating? Where do you think you'd be at? If you've had a major fatality incident, if you had a major fatality incident today, your driver called and said, there's been a fatality, I don't know what to do. Are you worried what the opposing attorneys might find? When you look at your files, does it just make you wanna scream does it make you want to quit your job and go into a different industry? If the answer to those are no, yes, and yes, then this webinar is for you. Are you just frustrated with the way your company is performing when it comes to safety? 
Are you having a hard time hiring and keeping those drivers? Do you have all the policies in place? You've got policy after policy, but still can't seem to get control of the day-to-day -day operations of being compliant? Here's how to get the most out of this webinar. Be present. Just be present. Turn off your phone for just a minute. It's not super long. You know, focus, shut the door, no interruptions. Just be present and pay attention to it. Take just a little time out of your busy schedule. Look, I know you're busy, I'm busy, you're busy, but you need to take time to invest in yourself and say, how am I going to really fix this? Not just put a Band-Aid on it, but really attack this and fix it so we don't have the same problems moving forward. And be willing to learn something new. You know, it's, it's hard sometimes, especially whenever you get complacent. And you start thinking, you know, well, this is just the way we've always done it. So we're going to have to continue to do it this way. You don't have to do anything. But what you should want to do is you should want to do it right. So be willing to learn something new, have an open mind, and maybe just think, you know what? I might actually learn something. So who is the webinar not for? The webinar is not for people who just want a quick fix. If you just want something to be fixed and come in, do it for me and make it look pretty, then it's probably not for you. Like I said, if you just want it to look good on paper, but you still want to be able to break the rules and have your drivers break the rules and well, it's okay if they go over their hours of service because, you know, whatever, for whatever reason you have might not be good for you. Honestly, you might just want to quit the business. If you can't handle hearing the blunt, honest truth, I'm going to be straightforward with you. I'm going to tell you whenever things that, that you may be doing are not right. And don't take offense to that. What you're doing is not right. And if you do it this way, you can fix that. What I am asking for you to do is invest in yourself, invest in your company, invest in your team, invest in your employees. Ask yourself, how much am I willing to pay in fines? Can I afford not to take this seriously? Do I really believe that things just work out on their own? Sometimes things don't just work out on their own. Sometimes you have to take the bull by the horns and make shit happen.